Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the sixth annual Clean Development Mechanism CDM Changing Lives contest, um, showcasing some fantastic pieces of artwork which demonstrate the fantastic work the CDM is doing around the world. Um, just a brief pressy before we invite our um, judges and uh, special celebrities on stage. Uh, photographers were asked to submit striking images that showcase CDM projects or their related benefits, whether it was a photo highlighting a climate-friendly project or related benefits in health, sanitation, infrastructure development, rural e electrification or other areas, we invited photographers to show their vision of this remarkable mechanism. Photos were judged on originality, technical excellence, artistic merit and their persuasiveness in telling the story of the CDM on the theme Changing Lives. And the wow factor was very important. The judges were looking for photos able to grab the viewer's attention and hold it. Again, this year we had a lively video category, but a bit unique. We asked for short entries, 30 seconds or less. That, like the photo entries, would display the many merits of CDM projects. So without further ado, I'd like to invite on stage, we're very lucky to have the UN Climate Chief, UN Executive Secretary Christiana Figueres, who may be called off at any moment for negotiations, so we need to get her up on stage quickly. So Christiana, if you'd be good enough to come up on stage. We also have the head of the International Missions Trading Association, Dirk Forrester. And we have the chief executive of Entico, who helped organize this event and get the sponsors on board as well, James Ramsey. So welcome to all of our <laughs> guests. Briefly, Christiana, I know you've been doing a lot of talking today already, but if you could briefly explain um, to people watching back at home why the CDM is such an important mechanism, particularly for the process which you're involved in at the moment. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, well, the CDM is currently the only fully developed and fully regulated mechanism, market mechanism that we had, um, and is uh, actually serving as uh, inspiration and treasure trove of tools uh, for other market mechanisms that are being considered by parties. Uh, but before moving into the future, let's stay with the present, uh, because uh, what I do think is fantastic about the CDM and, and what these uh, photographs and videos show is uh, that, that this is not some kind of an esoteric uh, program or, or project, it really does fundamentally affect people's lives. Uh, and so I think that is what is so wonderful about this, that how we see that people's lives really are being benefited and improved uh, through these opportunities to find mitigation, cost-effective mitigation opportunities in developing countries. Fantastic. We've got Dirk on stage, head of the uh, International Emissions Trading Association. Dirk, in terms of the general framework of emissions trading, how important is the CDM? Well, as Christiana described, it helped pave the way for everything that we're talking about. And frankly, for many countries, it demystified what the tool of emissions trading can be as a part of a response to climate change and how it can bring together money and technology and uh, and good right on the ground and so uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be here on behalf of many of my member com companies who have been participants in the CDM and bringing these projects to market and, and in uh, finding buyers and sellers and bringing them together so it's terrific to see this uh, uh, beautiful photography that, that really uh, exemplifies what the CDM is all about. Fantastic, thank you Dirk. Well let's just crack on with the awards. I know people watching will be desperate to find out who's who's won. James Ramsey from Entico will announce third place of the CDM photo competition. Thank you, Ed. Um, third place is Subodh Natu from India. Congratulations, Subodh. Just to say that Subodh's photo is associated with CDM project 5863. So you can go onto the UNFCCC website, type in 5863, and all the details will come up. Subo is from Jaipur, Jabapur in India. He's got a degree in biology. Um, and as you can see, he's a very talented um, photographer. So congratulations to him. Uh, Dirk can announce second place in the competition. So um, second place goes to Jada Bhattacharya. And uh, as you can see, this is a photo that's just gorgeous with the vibrant colors that uh, it's no surprise that it's sort of attracted the attention of the judges. Thanks, Dirk. And that was CDM Project 0711, My Source Cement Limited. And uh, Jai Deep, who won that, studied bioscience. Um, he's a teacher, and he's also an avid 
amateur photographer. He became interested in the CDM when he saw the announcement about this photo contest. So you can see the contest is already raising awareness all around the world. And in first place, Christiana, if we could get you to announce that. Well, I must say, um, this is really an absolutely extraordinary um, photograph by Sudip Todas uh, from Rajasthan, India. He is a self-taught photographer. Now, all of you who ever thought, think you might be interested in being a photographer, this is what you can do if you self-teach yourself, okay? Uh, really quite amazing. Um, uh, he's a self-taught photographer. He works for uh, Times of India. Uh, and here's my story about this photograph. If this photograph were a work of art, which it is, if it were a painting, and if I were uh, one of these wonderful museum guides that take you from painting to painting and explain, then here's what I would say about this fantastic painting. Number one, please do appreciate the perfection here, the mathematical perfection of this painting. You have two human for, uh, beings here, you have two human beings here, two sets of two with two sets of two here. Mathematically perfect. You have these two children, I don't know if you can see it from the back, but you have these two children sitting in front of the camel with toy turbans making a beautiful contrast to the real wind turban down here. You have the fantastic contrast of two camels, note the two as the leitmotif in the painting, two camels being contrasted beautifully by a jeep here as the other mode of transportation. So you have the motorized transportation and you have the more um, traditional transportation. And then of course we note that this painting is actually painted in primary colors, predominantly blue and red. Is this a beautiful painting? And I will also note that Sudipto sent another entry which got fourth place. So, quite a prolific and fantastic photographer. Well, I think we can see there that the executive secretary um, has a lost vocation in uh, being an art critic as well, so, you know. In my spare time. <laughs> <Just> spare time. <laughs> Quickly rattling on to the video competition, which was also very competitive. Um, and just to briefly explain what this was about, in the CDM Changing Lives video category, entrants were asked to highlight the benefits of a registered CDM project and explain in a clear and concise way how the CDM is contributing to the international response to climate change and sustainable development. They were asked to keep their videos to 30 seconds or less and in a new, it was a new twist on the contest and it was meant to inspire and challenge amateurs and professionals to make this contest more accessible. If you'd like to see those videos, they are all on the UNFCCC CDM website, so go on that, have a click, and uh, I would absolutely recommend having a look. Let's quickly go through our top three. James Ramsey can announce the third place. And uh, the third place uh, winner is uh, Ife Rocha from Brazil. Congratulations, Ife. Ife produced a video associated with the Giro hydropower plant, that was CDM Project 9226. Um, Ife studies at the local Einstein College in Brazil and participates in the social empowerment program that was set up by project developers of the hydropower project. So Dirk, can you answer second place? Pleasure. Um, Bagani Tulani from Cape Town, South Africa wins second place and uh, he's a 24 year old filmmaker which I think is terrific getting uh, the younger folks involved in this. Fantastic. And that's uh, CDM Project 0079 and Christiana, first place. And the first place goes to, and we're delighted to have Francisco Leru Muñoz here with us. Francisco, bienvenido, porque no subes por acá. Muy bien. Francisco is the uh, media director of Resa, the company um, that actually is uh, harnessing um, energy from landfill gas in Puebla, Mexico. And uh, his video sees this through the eyes of a 15-year-old who understands uh, then how energy can be, um, can be harnessed and how we can actually uh, improve the environment through clean energy. Así es que, eh, Francisco, muchísimas gracias. Te felicito. Eh, ¿Y tu jefe está por acá o no está? Ah, pero bueno, por favor. A ver. Aprendí mucho, pero ahora también me doy cuenta. Esta energía al limpiar 
debería ser aprovechada para mi ciudad. Oye, Edgar, felicitaciones también. Mil gracias. Felicitaciones por el proyecto, felicitaciones por el video. Gracias. Eh, pero gracias por, por venir y por estar acá con nosotros y espero que los estén viendo por televisión, por sí. fotografía, desde Puebla, México y que ustedes claro, puedan sí. eh, desde acá saludar a la gente de Puebla, México. ¿Te pasa? Adelante, Fran. Adelante. Bueno, pues muchísimas gracias. Antes que nada es agradecerles la oportunidad de estar aquí. Obviamente es un honor haber ganado este, este video y haber podido transmitir, como platicaban, en 30 segundos Exacto. lo importante que es para, bueno, primeramente para la ONU y también para nuestra empresa Reza, el, este proyecto y este tipo de proyectos y nos interesa que pueda llegar a las generaciones nuevas y pues también que la gente conozca que estos proyectos pueden cambiar las vidas como lo hace el video. Así es, así es. Estamos muy agradecidos. No, muy bien, felicitaciones. ¿Y tú? A nombre de la empresa Rellenos Sanitarios Reza en Puebla, México, a todos les damos las gracias. Y, y yo debo decir que transmitir todo ese mensaje en 30 segundos es arte, pero creo que también es magia. Así es que te felicito gracias, y felicitaciones a la compañía. Congratulations to those guys. Um, we should also say this competition um, was sponsored by some very generous companies. There's a fantastic prize, a $4,000 um, prize pot. So um, I'm sure the guys who produce the videos will uh, be, be enjoying part of that. James Ramsey will just briefly um, outline the companies involved in the sponsorship. Uh, yes, it was a, a, a unique privilege to uh, work in partnership with UNFCCC and AITA. Um, and it was great to be able to reach out to sponsors who could promote their activities in delivering clean technologies to emerging uh, markets. We are fortunate in today we have here uh, one of our sponsors who's represented uh, in the form of David James. Perhaps I could ask you to come up, David. Uh, and maybe you say a few words. Thank you, James. Well, it is uh, an honor to be sponsoring this fantastic competition. Um, you know, the reason Park Oasis, my company, uh, sponsored it is the clean development mechanism, uh, it, the fantastic projects around the world, especially in countries like Pakistan, where we work chiefly. Um, in Park Oasis, uh, we're one of Asia's largest water engineering companies with nearly 1,500 plants, water plants completed, which is providing clean water to over 6 million people. But we realize for the long-term sustainability of the water industry, it's incredibly important for uh, us to act now to tackle climate change. And that's why last year we inaugurated our first completely solar-powered filtration plant, and this year our first completely solar-powered desalination plant. It's why we're in the process of converting half of all our plants onto renewable energies. And you know, we felt it was fitting thus that we would sponsor a project which, um, uh, sorry, a competition which is highlighting, you know, similar projects which, uh, you know, making a huge difference in the tackling climate change. So thank you very much and congratulations to all the winners. Yeah, well, thanks again to uh, our three, three special guests, Christiana. I think you probably got to uh, get, get back to the grindstone. But uh, thank you all for taking part and... Uh, if you want any more information on the CDM uh, photo competition, visit the UNFCCC website, um, type in CDM, and you can find all the details there. Thank you very much.